I look so gay today, because I've heard stories. a huge orange ball falling down right now on the outside of the window of the ferry. It looks like a big orange balloon. I don't know what it means, but I guess it's slowing us down. But we're approaching the Aran Islands, and we I think this is the big island, Inishmore. population of the island here is around 800 people on this island and the Inish man is 150 people. And 150? Yeah, about that, even less maybe now. Inish here then it's about 270 or 280 they say. But this island goes down to 700 in the winter time as well, you know, when the students goes back to college and that. They'd say there's 7,000 acres of land on the island, 2,000 miles of stone wall. That's what Tim Robinson made out in the maps. And, you know. There's every breed of coats here. There's Hereford, Arbery, Angus, Charlie's, Limousines. There's so many mixture of cows here on the island now. Hereford used to be the main breed here years ago. Yeah, two ways. Two ways here. It can be challenging at times, I bet. I've been having my adventures driving around. Ooh, me too. We better fly in the first hour. We did. We had one of them. About three. Drifting. Drifting. We're really close to that girl. Sorry. Left. Oh! I'm so sorry. See, it gets very rough, you know, you get a lot of salt water spraying over those cliffs and everything. So you get snow? Not too much, no. What's Christmas like on the Aran Islands? It's pretty familiar, you know, you, you get a lot of coming home for your family and, you know, kind of tradition. Same as everywhere. It's very homely, kind of, you know. Is there more than one uh, church, or are there different parishes? No, there's just three Catholic churches, you know, there's just one priest. But you just have the Midnight Mass in Carol and in the main church, and, and you just have a Mass in the Ochel at 8 o'clock before that, you know. So then in, in the mars, on Christmas morning, you'll have one up here in the other church, and and one in Kiron and at 11 o'clock, you know, so. It must be beautiful. Oh, it is, yeah. Uh, lovely singing and everything, you know. Does everyone sing? They, a lot of them do, yeah. And the music, is there music they here? They do have music there at, night, at Christmas night, so on a Sunday and Christmas morning, you know. So. Tell us about this, Joe. This is the monastery. The seven, it's called the Seven Churches, but there's only ever two churches according to the thing. But, but the seven Romans came there first teaching religion or something. This is Roman. Yeah, well, this but the, the, they came here first, you know, Romans. Right. First code that started it out, you know. inside one of the seven churches. These were built 
somewhere around 7 to 800 AD, which would be in the 6 and 700s, right? No. 7th <sighs> and I'm very confused about the numbers. Seventh and eighth century, or eighth and ninth century, either six and seven hundred A.D. or seven and eight hundred, but a very long time ago. Eighth century, which would be the seven hundreds. There you go. There's the answer. Thank you, Kevin. Okay, so in the seven hundreds, the monks were here, and they had a school. The monks, as they did in so many places in Ireland, they they had a school here. And they welcomed anyone who wanted to learn all over Ireland. This was the tradition. They would welcome you. They would pay you. They, not, they wouldn't pay you, but they would give you your food and your lodging. And they would teach you. If you, if you sincerely wanted to learn, you could come here and they would teach you. Holy men. People gathered here from all over Ireland and later from all over the world. People would come here to study places like this, monasteries like this all over Ireland. Thank you. 